Hi there everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to take you through the group 2 topic called the alkaline earth metals from the OCRA specification for A level chemistry. Let's get started. So when you first look at the group 2 topic it doesn't look like a lot. A few reactions, maybe some observations to make and some application work, maybe it's not too bad. But the way it comes up in the second year papers is quite sneaky in the multiple choice and also very sudden in the redox section of the specification. I must recommend therefore that you revise this just as much as any other part of the course and don't underestimate it, especially the applications and the trend in alkalinity of the hydroxides. So we're going to start by looking at the reactivity of our group 2 metals. Now to consider their reactivity, we need to consider their outermost, or we can call them their valence electrons. The group 2 metals have got their electron configuration ending in S2, which means they have two valence electrons. When they react, the group 2 metals get oxidized and we see these two valence electrons get donated. We can see this here in the equation of magnesium reacting with hydrochloric acid to form magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. The magnesium has an oxidation state of zero on the left hand side because it's the uncombined element. And on the right hand side, the magnesium has a plus two oxidation state in the ionic lattice MgCl2. This change in oxidation state from zero to plus two demonstrates that the magnesium is being oxidized. It's worth pointing out, as you can see I've written in the red here as well, that the hydrogen is getting reduced from plus one to zero. Do we need to consider the trend in reactivity down the group therefore, because we are aware with our knowledge of ionization energy that there is a change in the attraction between the outermost electrons and the nucleus as we move down the group? Well, down group two, the reactivity of the group two metals increases. Their atomic radius is increasing, which remember means they're getting larger. Their valence electrons are therefore further from the nucleus and less attracted. Therefore less energy is required to remove them. And hence they donate their electrons more readily the further down the group they are in reactions and are therefore considered more reactive further down the group. So, now that we've seen that our group 2 metals oxidize when they react, we're going to consider three different reactions that demonstrate this. We're then going to consider a fourth reaction that doesn't actually demonstrate any redox, but does involve a group 2 metal oxide and it's reacting with water. So the first reaction out of these four that we're going to consider is the metal with oxygen. This is really easy and consistent to balance. One mole of the group two metal reacts with half a mole of oxygen to produce one mole of the group two metal oxide each time. The second reaction is the metal and water where one mole of the metal reacts with two moles of water to produce one mole of the alkali, please be careful with that formula, and a mole of hydrogen gas. For observations, we would see the solid metal disappear and the hydrogen bubble. The third reaction is the metal and acid. And here I've decided to use a monobasic acid and it's dilute acids only for this according to your specification. One mole of the metal in this case using a monobasic acid is going to react in a one to two ratio with the acid to produce one mole of a salt and some hydrogen gas bubbles once again we would also notice the solid metal disappear. The fourth reaction is going to be the oxide and water that I mentioned at the start of this. Now, this isn't demonstrating oxidation of the group two metal, 
but it is a reaction that involves the group 2 metal just in its oxide that you need to be aware of according to your specification. Just a couple of reminders of some other points on here. You do need to be aware of your observations such as solid disappearing in reactions 2, 3 and 4 and bubbles being produced in reactions 2 and 3. In reaction 3, if I was to use a dye basic acid like H2SO4, the balancing would be a little different as I wouldn't need 2 moles of the acid in that instance. So in this next section of our tutorial, we're going to look at the applications or the uses of some group two compounds acting as bases. And I would recommend you learn the equations for these reactions as well. First one we're going to consider is magnesium carbonate and magnesium hydroxide. Well, they can act as antacids. Now, what that means is they're going to treat indigestion. In a chemistry context, we would describe that as neutralizing excess stomach acid. Another example of the uses of the group 2 compounds as bases can be seen in calcium hydroxide or calcium carbonate which can be used in agriculture to neutralize acidified or acidic soil we can say. Now in your specification it doesn't actually mention the calcium carbonate but it did come up on an OCR second year exam so I've included that example here for you. Now this final section of the tutorial is really, is there anything else to consider? And there absolutely is. In the fourth reaction we saw of our group two metals, which was actually the oxide reacting with water, the product was the alkaline solution of the hydroxide. For example, magnesium hydroxide or barium hydroxide, as you can see on screen now. Now, barium hydroxide is actually more alkaline than magnesium hydroxide, and I'm comparing them in terms of alkalinity here using my knowledge that an alkaline solution is that of a soluble base which contains OH- ions. Well, barium hydroxide is more soluble, which means it releases more of this OH- ion into solution, and you need to be aware that it's more alkaline than the magnesium hydroxide solution would be. That's it for this group two metal tutorial. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, can you please make sure you give this video a like and consider subscribing to stay updated. Until next time, everybody, happy revising.